Hey guys, so within the past six months or so, I really started to fall in love with mechanical keyboards, specifically anything from a 60% keyboard, which is my favorite size to a 10 keyless. Now, this board actually started out as a do-it-yourself kit that grew in popularity so much that it started being manufactured and sold pre-built, which is generally a good indication that it's a high quality board that a lot of people really like. So the GK64 is a 60% board, meaning you don't get dedicated function keys, instead a lot of keys, including the function row are layered, but that's fine. Just means all you got to do is press the function key to access that secondary layer. But if you need that number pad or quick access to the function keys, then I don't know what to tell you. Go get one of those grand piano sized keyboards. But one thing that really struck a chord with me was the dedicated arrow keys, which is something I realized I really needed after using my other 60% keyboard for several months. So I love that about this board. The PVT keycaps have a Cherry MX profile and the legends are heat subbed with Cherry MX blue switches underneath. Sounds good to me. Now, to be perfectly honest, while I like the keycaps and the Cherry blues, I still plan on customizing this board with brown switches, which I have on the way and these super dope keycaps that pimpmykeyboard.com hooked me up with. And that actually brings me to a super dope feature of this board, hot swappable key switches. So in addition to the included keycap removal tool, it also comes with a key switch removal tool. So you just pinch the clips in with a key switch tool and pull. The key switch will pop right out and grab your replacement three pin switch and just push it in. And job done. Like, how rad is that? The keyboard case is super heavy CNC machined aluminum in gunmetal gray, and I think it looks dope. It's got a nice low profile and it has zero branding anywhere. Now, mine was sent to me by gearbest.com, where on the site, it's listed from a brand called Sewino, which is supposed to have branding on the bottom, but I believe the same manufacturer makes boards with and without branding. Mine has no branding, which I prefer. So if you want one without branding, hit up gearbest.com. Um, I'll have a link for this guy in the description. But yeah, heavy duty build quality with this board. You could probably beat the shit out of someone with this thing if that's what you wanted to do. It comes with a braided USB-C cable, which is nice. And the RGB is per key, which is also really nice. There's five reactive lighting effects and five animated lighting effects saved on the board itself with 20 steps of brightness as well as lighting speed steps. But the real meat and potatoes of this board is unlocked when you download the customization software, which was a pain in the ass to find by the way, but I found it along with a complete user manual. So I'll make sure to add links in the description of both the software I'm using and the user manual so that you guys don't have to spend four plus hours searching for all that shit yourselves. You're welcome. <laughs> Anyways, once you get the software fired up, you can set macros, uh, you get more animated lighting effect options, you can customize the color of each individual key if you wanted, make custom hotkeys, custom shortcut keys, and so on. It works really, really well, actually, even though there's still a couple of UI elements in Chinese, but that's what the user manual is for, which is in English and intuitive and very detailed, which is really useful. <laughs> And the only issue I've had with the keyboard hardware, not really the hardware, just the left shift key to be specific, is the size being 2U instead of the standard size 2.25U, which makes it a bit more difficult to find keycap sets. But I have found a few out there like those HC Granite keycaps sent to me from pimpmykeyboard.com. Anyways, like I said, I'll have links in the description for this board as well as the software and user manual I use to easily set it up the way I wanted. Now, before I go, I wanted to know how many of you use mechanical keyboards and what's your favorite key switch? Also. So, do any of you have any cool keycap set recommendations? Drop me a comment and let me know. But that's about it for this one. If you liked the video, show me some love with that like button. And if you're new to my stuff, don't forget to subscribe for new videos every week. Thanks as always for watching and I'll talk to you all in the next one. Cheers.